hearty hearty ha. I am simply implying that this video, in fact, is great, my dude. Mwahahaha. <laughs> DJ Lordsy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome yourselves back to Twiz Gamers. It is your boy D -d 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 DJ Lordsy inside the place, and today we are going to be playing Roblox. What a joker! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I am just kidding. Calm down. Today I'm actually going to be showing you my setup. As a lot of you know, I recently changed my bedroom into the Twiz Studio and I did showcase it, but I kind of just walked around with my phone like, I've done this, I've done this. But in this video, I'm actually going to show you the gaming setup itself. So I hope you all enjoy. It has been a pain in the ass working with Sony Vegas because apparently my phone and Sony Vegas just don't work very well together. So I had to render it and then oh, it's been an absolute nightmare. But finally, you can witness for yourself this very expensive gaming setup. But just quickly before we get into today's video, if I could ask you to please subscribe and maybe smack a like on this video, I will send you a real life Oleg the Snowman and that is a 100% promise, all you have to do is just subscribe and like. So let's get into the video. So firstly let's start off with the bad boy PC itself. I am rocking a GTX 980, I've also got Intel i7 7th gen rocking 16 gigabytes of Samsung DDR4 RAM as well as 3 terabyte HDD which I know I'm going to be upgrading to SSD I'll probably get a 1 terabyte because I know that can get very expensive I might even get two of them but I am also going to be upgrading to a GTX 1080 Ti for my PC and I'm going to get the Intel 8th generation of the i7 when it comes out and also a new gaming case. Now let's move over to the monitors. I have got four monitors. I've recently just got a new one. So I've put my 3D full HD monitor from AOC over down by the, uh, by the consoles. But currently I've got a Samsung 4K monitor right in front of me. I've got um, a 5K Dell monitor to my right and then them two are both 28 inches. And I've got the Sony PlayStation 3D monitor 24 inch to my left. Moving on to the consoles, I own one PS4, one Xbox One. I will be getting the Xbox Scorpio when it comes out and I need to get a PS4 Pro. I've got an Xbox 360, I've actually got three 360s. I've got a Nintendo Wii U, I've got one P PS3 Slim and I've got four normal PS3s for the ones that first came out because they can also play PS1 and PS2 games for the 60 gigabyte, which is awesome. But I've also got two Wii's, I've got a 3DS, a PS Vita, I've got a SNES, I have got a 64, N64, I've got a loads of Game Cues, I've got a PS2, a PS1, actually two PS2's, and I've got a Dreamcast. I've got two of the normal DS's, the first DS, I've got the DS Lite, I've got the DSi, I've got the DSi XL, and now I've got the 3DS, which I sold to get the 3DS XL, but I don't have the brand new 3DS. I also have three PSPs, I've got um, two of the originals and one of the 3000 model, I believe. So yeah, a shit ton of consoles I've never got round to selling, so let's move on to the next section. I've got two voice activation thingies, I've got the Google Home which isn't even out in the UK, it comes out in this summer I believe, or towards winter, and I've got the Alexa. My speaker's recently blown so I'm not including it, it was a Logitech, but what I have got, I've got uh, the Beats Pros for my headphones, I've got the Beats Studios, I've got a Turtle Beach, I can't remember the model, uh, somewhere in my wardrobe, and I've got um, the Beats Pill XL, and that thing is fantastic, much recommend. It's about £250, but it lasts 14 hours, and the bass and the EQs on that thing are incredible for a Bluetooth speaker. It is amazing. I really recommend that speaker. I've got a full HD 3D smart TV on my wall, which is 40 inches, and that is alright. I'm hoping to upgrade it to a projector soon, and that'll be pretty swicked. 
And when it comes to controllers, I've got four PS4 controllers. I've got um, four Move controllers. I've got the new PlayStation camera, the old PlayStation camera, a load of Xbox 360 controllers with one Xbox One controller because I use it for my PC or my Xbox, which to be honest, I don't really play very much, but I haven't got a Kinect. That is what I need. I've also got a Canon 500D camera, but I can't get the right memory card. I kind of lost it, so I will be recording more footage. Maybe I'll vlog in the future with that. But the next thing I wanted to mention is my desk. I've had this desk for a little while now, and since I've moved into the studio, I need to get a new couch and a new desk that is on my bucket list. I've also got a HD 1080p Logitech camera, and that is for my PC webcam. My microphone is a Blue Yeti, the silver edition, and it's pretty awesome. I'm using it to record right now, so let me know how the quality is. The only issue is I need to change the fans on my PC because it gets very loud and just a constant in the background, which is a pain in the arse, so I'm gonna get quieter fans and water cooling. I would tell you what cables I've got, but you don't wanna know. I've got four box loads, so I'm just gonna leave that out. I've also got a MacBook Pro Retina 15 inch which has all the top specs and it is fantastic. I love my MacBook and I don't care what any PC Warrior fans say because I've got PC too. Mac is something of its own kind, it is fantastic. But with that I also have a 3 terabyte uh, external hard drive for my PC and I've also got an Apple time capsule which is 3 terabytes. Now, when it comes to lighting, I'm completely new to it, but I've got two um, Philip Hughes light strips behind my monitor and the little uh, display you saw just beneath the TV and behind all the consoles. And I've also got three bulbs up in my normal lighting so I can change it with my phone or both Alexa and Google Home. Soon I'm hoping to get one lamp across my bedroom with the hue lights and another one next to my bed for a bedside light. I will also soon be upgrading the PlayStation monitor to my left and I will be upgrading it to a 20, uh, 28 inch 4K or even 1080p. I just want 28 inch because it looks very uneven right now but I still love it to bits. Recording equipment, I've got a Roxio game capture which I never use anymore, I need to sell that. I've got HD PVR 2 which I use to record my PS3 and my Xbox 360. And then I've got the Elgato HD 60S, the new one, so I use that to record PS4 and Xbox One. Now for my keyboard, I have the Razer, I can't even remember the name of them anymore, there's so many. Basically I've got the one with customizable buttons and the one with the touchpad on the right. And yes, it does cycle through the colors, of course, cause it's a Razer. Now I used to have a Razer mouse, but I actually broke it. So now I just bought a cheap one off Amazon, which you can go and check the video out over on Twiz Tech. That is my tech channel. And I also talk about where you can buy it from because I got it from Amazon and more about it. It's a wireless gaming mouse and it's fantastic with customizable buttons. So I recommend going and checking out that video. There will be a link in the description, so go and check it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was the entire gaming setup. I'd love to know what you all think in the uh, comment section down below, in the description. In the comment section down below, don't forget to subscribe and like to help a brother out. I'm really trying to build this YouTube community together because it'll be pretty awesome. I've always wanted to be a YouTuber, so yeah, yeah. But thank you all for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day. It has been your boy, DJ Lordsy, inside the place. Peace out. Have a good one. I will see you on a live stream tonight, I believe. Yes, tonight. All right, peace out. Bye-bye.